is hoping to highlight male role models to the next generation of young men. The Mighty Men Experience Choir is made up of over 40 of the UK's top gospel and inspirational male singers. They came together to record a charity single, Keep Fighting, with money raised going to Gangsline, a charity which helps children and young people to leave gangs. Well, let's have a look at them in action. explain more are Zylan Thompson and Isaiah Raymond, both members of the choir, both who we spotted in there and both who were singing along just then, so you're obviously not bored of it. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> well, just tell us, first of all, how you got involved in this? Um, I know the lady that wrote the song, Lorraine Cato, Mobile Award winner, gospel artist, and she told me about the concept and she's like, Isaiah, you've got to be a part of it. So I said, okay, Lorraine, I'm going to be a part of it. That's how I got involved. And how about you? Um, I went to um, support um, Isaiah Raymond. His, his dad passed away recently, and I went to support him at his funeral. I met Lorraine there, and she told me about it, and I said, I have to be there. And I said, anything I can do to help, I will definitely do all that I can do. And, I mean, I've touched on it there, but just talk about the reasons behind setting up the choir and, and doing a song like this. Well, basically, as you know, men are under problems. They're under challenges at this time. And Lorraine came up with the idea to find a song that would inspire men to keep fighting. You know, there's a lot of suicide, there's gun crime, there's gang crime, there's financial pressure, and people need to be encouraged. So Lorraine said, I'm going to pen this song, Ian Green's going to produce it, I'm going to get men together to show that men can come together and keep fighting. And that's the purpose of the song. Black, white, whatever your culture is, we want to let you know, keep fighting and don't give up, there is hope out there. And there's a real collection of incredible voices there. I mean, I've listened to this song a couple of times, so it's very catchy, I'll oh, give you that. You. Um, <laughs> I mean, just tell me about who the choir's made up of, in essence. It's, it's some of the, the as, as it's mentioned earlier, I mean, some of the most talented singers around the, the whole of the UK, um, they, they've all come together to just help within their own way in their communities to inspire people to, you know, that there is another way, you know, getting out of gangs, etc. So. And of course, the money raised from, from this single will go towards gangs. Like, just talk a little bit about the work that they do. Gangs Line is a charity that was formed to help young men across the UK to exit um, from gangs across the different postcodes. Now, I don't know if people know, but there are 15,000 15, individual men in gangs in London alone. Across this UK, 35,000. So these charities come together to show men, um, young men, that there's a better way out. You don't have to be a part of a gang. We understand the pressure's there. Uh, sometimes you think it's cool, it's a sense of identity, but don't throw your life away. There's too much violence on the street. So the, the proceeds will go to help this charity, to encourage people to get out of gangs and to make use of your life and fulfill your purpose. How important are role models, do you think, for younger men? I think they're extremely important. I think um, they're a necessity. Um, and that's why we're doing the best as we can to, to present another way for people, you know. And we're also going into schools as well, um, because there's children as young as 10 years old that have been initiated into gangs yeah. and they're selling drugs, etc. So, you know, we're trying to be the opposing force to positivity and to go into schools. There's also a helpline as well, where people can call if they're involved, you know, with a gang or if they need help of some sort as well. Sheldon Thomas is amazing. He's the co-founder of the Gangs Line. So, um, you know, he's built up an amazing support system um, for gangs like. I mean, watching that video, it looks like it was a lot of fun. Obviously, it's got a serious underlying <laughs> message, but yeah. everyone looks like they're having a great time. What was it like putting together a choir? I imagine you don't know everyone there. Um, I know quite a few people in the choir. Um, it was a bit like a reunion, seeing people I hadn't seen for years and meeting some new people. Um, and I know this from experience. I do prison ministry. I go to prisons across the UK with Love Life UK Outreach. And there's nothing like having a room full of men singing. You can't beat that feeling. Women singing? Well, women sing all the time. I mean, you know that. <laughs> when you get men together singing for a good cause with positive vibes and, and a good attitude to help people, that is a feeling that cannot be replicated. It was amazing. It seems that again, I'm just like, oh, we know. We've got a figure. <laughs> It was an amazing experience, really, really great course. And Salon, do you, do you sing anyway? You've got an incredible voice, we hear you on, on, on the video. Is that something you do anyway? Yeah, um, I tour now, I'm a soul artist, I'm here, abroad as well, so yeah. It's, but I mean, for me really, it's just about bringing what I, all my experiences and my influences and just showing people that there is another way. Because I grew up in an area, I grew up in Halston, which was, you know, there was lots of shootings and stabbings and robbings, etc. 
you know, I was able to go through that process and to the point where I actually worked and toured with Amy Winehouse around the world, and I was an official uh, lead singer of her band. So um, for me, me bringing, um, me coming to this project is, is just showing people that, you know, I came from a similar background from you, but there is another way, and, yeah. you know, hopefully that can inspire them as well. I mean, what made you avoid that, though? Because a lot of people feel like it's music, not a choice. Music, um, role models, um, God... <laughs> Um, definitely family having I think having positive role models around you is very important I think it's key you know I had um, some some key people who was able to to keep me focused and I think you know if they don't have that in their life if people don't have that in their life then hopefully gangs line can be that you know let's say substitute but can be that you know yeah fixture in their life and as I in the work that you do how important is music very important. I mean, music is a universal language. People feel the bass, they hear the music, they listen to the lyrics and they absorb um, the efforts of the music. So for me, music is very important. And even a single, please do go and download it on Google Play, Amazon, iTunes, to type in Keep Fighting, Mighty Men Experience. Music is very important. Um, you look at today's culture, we have a sight sound generation. Music videos are at an all-time high because they understand if people can see something glossy, they'll listen. So now, you know, people don't read as much, but they listen to music and messages are forever being imparted. So music is very key to this generation. Well, both of you, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, now, if you fancy uh, checking out some live music this week,